Uh, I'm Howard Smith, an independent filmmaker. I've been making films since 1970. I make between six and ten films a year. Short films, comedies, dramas, thrillers. I'm a one-man band. I do all the photography, sound recording, direction, editing myself. That's the way I like to do it. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have had two films selected this year. I'm absolutely over the moon about it. Uh, one is called Crush. It, it's about a, a girl who hangs out with her friends and has a crush on an older boy who's left uh, school a couple of years before. Um, he's about three or four years older than her. Um, she approaches him uh, to see if he wants to hang out with her, but he's absolutely not interested, considering she's too young for him. But she won't let it go, will she? She is determined to, to find out where he lives to, and to pursue him. And she gets into a, a bit of trouble a bit later in the film. I'm not going to say any more than that. Now, that stars the wonderful young Sophie Bullock, who's now 14. She's been in a few of my films. And this film was a bit of a departure and an experiment because I came up with a basic story idea, scene by scene, but I wanted it all improvised. And to my mind, it's worked brilliantly. Sophie has been nominated for Best Young Female Actor in the film. Um, also in the film, playing her father, is a, is a brilliant actor called Adam Probetz. Uh, his scenes with Sophie in the film are some of the, the best acting I've ever had in my films. Do you remember that holiday when we went to Weston? <laughs> Do I? That was lovely, that place. When you took me on that fair ride for the first time? Yeah. Don't think I've ever screamed more in my life. You weren't going to go on it. No. I had to, I had to persuade you, didn't I? You forced me on it. You didn't persuade didn't me. You force you on you it. You did. I just, I just know what it's like and I wanted you to have a good time. Yeah. The other film is called Frankie, starring Sophie Bullock's younger brother, Alex Bullock, who's now 11. He is a phenomenon. He's currently filming uh, for a, a BBC daytime soap. Uh, but he is such a wonderful character, and I wrote a script especially for him called Frankie, where he is uh, a, a lively boy who's living unhappily with... Uh, an unpleasant stepfather, played by Sebastian Cousins. And a lot of the film is where uh, Frankie is talking to camera. We cut to him on a sw swing, we cut to him on a bench, we cut to him walking along and he's actually talking to camera, breaking the, the fourth wall. Uh, and then we see different episodes in his life and it, comes, it all comes to a shocking conclusion. Th this, is the fourth, this is the fourth year I've submitted films to the Birmingham Film Festival. And each year I've been lucky enough to have at least one film selected. Last year I had five films selected, which I think was a bit of a record. So I consider myself very fortunate. Coming to the Birmingham Film Festival for the last four years, uh, I've seen lots and lots of talented filmmakers work, lots of excellent actors, and I've done my best to bring along some of my actors along as, as well. They are absolutely thrilled to see their, their performances on the giant screen. I think it's so important for festivals not just to be in London. Uh, Birmingham gives everybody in the West Midlands a chance to go to watch a proper film festival. And it's free. I, I think it's amazing that it's free to, to go to all the, the, the film shows. And it lasts a week, so uh, I if people are busy one day, they can spare some time another day to go along. Uh, it's spreading the word about all the wonderful short films and feature-length films as well, which are out there, which don't get enough exposure. So please, everybody, come and watch Frankie and Crush on Monday, the 7th of November, 8 o'clock show, Millennium Point Cinema, and it's free. Why not come?